And you see, at that time, the shadow of the temple, the shade of the temple does not fall on the ground. Why? Because some of the temples are having its different layout plannings. The layout ground plan of this temple is appears like star shape, stellate. If a person will visualize from the helicopter from the sky, he will be able to see its basement appears like star. Its ground plan appears like stellate. Because at that time the shadow of the temple does not fall on the ground. If the shadow of the temple falls either upon the body of the devotees or on the ground, it must be unauspicious. All those things have been written in various invaluable canonical textbooks, Bij, Silpa Sastra, Vastu Sastra, Silpa Sar Sangra, Silpa Ratnakosa, Silpa Kaumudi. These are the valuable canonical textual books. Just like human life. All the Hindu temples all over India have been constituted. That is another good thing in Orissa, one war between Ashoka and Kalinda. That war is too much. I'm going to tell about the description about the cobras. You see that as per the as per the technology collected from Vedic mathematics like Vastu, that before constructing a temple or building, man has to worship the cobras or snakes for the purification of the soil. Because Vastuki is one the cobra, the name of the cobra that is Vastuki, who is dwelling under the hell. According to some tantric textbook, that if those sculptures, serpent coils will be depicted on the walls of the temple, no earthquake will be take place, means to prevent from earthquake. That is why today what the peoples are doing, they are making two hooded cobra in the name of Kulikanagam by silver and putting it inside the deep of the soil for the purification of the soil, for bringing permanent peace and prosperity in life. So these are the protective elements of the monuments.